Back in Ball Arena, I know it's business, but you got any emotions, anything on your mind? Uh, I don't know. I just try to stay in the moment. Uh, when the game gets here, I, I'm pretty sure I'll feel, you know, a certain way. I try not to think about it. Just, mm -hmm. you know, let everything happen. When you do think back on your time in Denver and what it meant to you as a player and a person, what do you think of? Uh, it meant a lot, man. And, uh, I was here when it was the Pepsi Center. <laughs> so, um, you know, to be here from the beginning and uh, be able to help turn around and, you know, be able to play with Jokic and uh, Jamal and, you know, be a part of their growth. Uh, you know, I wouldn't trade that for anything. What's it like seeing Jamal back on the floor, given you man, saw what he went through? It's a blessing, man. Um, Jamal, one of those guys, he, he works so hard, competes so hard, he loves the game so much. So to, just to see him back out there doing what he loves, man, um, it's a blessing. I'm, I'm really happy for him. We talked to Yoke yesterday. He mentioned you two have as many reps together as anyone. <laughs> Now you're going against him tonight. You looking forward to that? You excited for it? What do you think about that matchup? Um, you know, like you said, man, we played together for so long. Um, it's crazy to be on the uh, opposing team. Um, but, you know, we played against each other in open gyms yeah. and practice, different units and stuff like that. But it'll be a little bit different in a live game. So, um, you know, I'm always looking forward to any uh, challenge. Can you game plan against him because you know him so well? No. <laughs> okay. No, he's that good, man. He's back-to-back -back MVP for a reason, man. What do you think the the fans will be like towards you and Tate tonight? Um, or what are you expecting, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, like I said, I try not to even think about those things. Uh, I just try to stay in the moment, uh, go out there, compete, play hard, and, you know, whatever happens, happens, man. Has it been good to have Monte with you just to sort of transition when you got traded and West too? Of course. Anytime you can have a familiar face in uh, um, a new situation, um, it's always easier, you know, for that transition. So definitely uh, made it a little easier for me. Working with West now as a head coach, what's that been like? It's been good, man. Just seeing his growth and, um, you know, him having his own style now, his own show. And, you know, he, he he's trying to. Uh, turn this thing around here um, I'm happy I could be a part of it with him and hopefully um, we could do good things together. Have you enjoyed being back closer to home? Uh, yes uh, I've been able to see my family all the time they come up to all the home games um, it's refreshing for me Are you still in Bones' ear and I guess uh, if you're still following his play I guess of what course, have you thought about year two? Uh, you know, Bones man he's, he's special man and, you know he, he's just scratching the surface of what he could become. Uh, I remember I texted him I think it was the first game of the season. It was a preseason game. It was something like that. And I, and I had uh, texted him, let him, know, let him, you know, know what I saw out there. He responded back, and you know, me and him will always had that type of relationship. So I'm definitely happy to see his growth in the NBA, and you know, he can be one of those special players if he just, you know, keeps being hungry like I know he is. How often do you watch like the Nuggets, the Nuggets on like League Pass or something like that? Um, I don't know. I watch all the games to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, any team, um, I don't go searching for any team to see who's on tonight. If we have an off day and I'm in the house, and of course I'm watching basketball, I'm watching all the games. So um, I see the Nuggets, I see everybody. Well, now that you have a little bit of time since the trade this summer, when you reflect back on your time in Denver, what is it that you think about? Where, where did your head go? Um, just from the beginning. Uh, like I said, it was a blessing to come here be able to uh, make a name for myself, make a career out of this. And, um, you know, everything is just, it's just a blessing, man. Like I said, um, to get here and get an opportunity to show, you know, what I could do and, you know, get respect around the league. Um, I never uh, take that for granted. I just want to just cherish all the moments I have. Do you have a favorite memory here? I know you, it was Pepsi Center back then, but... <laughs> Oh man, we made a lot of good memories here, man. It's tough to um, to say, but I would say um, the first time we made the playoffs because we were, you know, working so hard to get there, and then um, when the first round series, it was it was a great thing. So um, just to be a part of that whole, you know, foundation, you know, land of bricks, and you know, to see, you know, where they are today, and just knowing that I was a part of that, you know, it's it gratifying enough for me. Well, I know you said on Monday when, you know, you're not necessarily feeling anything right now, but I guess 
coming into this arena again for the first time in a while? Anything butterflies or anything like that? No, nah, no butterflies or anything like that. It's just basketball with me. Um, it's just different being in the way locker room <laughs> and things like that. I haven't been on that side in about eight, nine years. So that part is different. But when it comes to the game, it's just basketball, man. It's something I've been doing my whole life. And, um, uh, no nervousness or nothing like that. Just, you know, treat it like a regular game and go out there and compete and play hard.